All right, now let's go over the new context app. As you can see, they changed the logo a little bit, or the icon, I should say. But if you go ahead and click in context, you got your whole list of contacts. The top left here, groups. Uh, so you can figure out which groups are where the contact was added from. You could select it so it's just your I, your phone contacts, your phone and your iPad contacts. You could take each one off, whatever you need to do. I usually just have it as all contacts. Click done. Um, then you could just kind of cycle through each one. You can search per person. So let's say I wanted to search for myself. So I've got two on here. Um, this one's actually me where it's got more information on there, but um, I think the reason I have it like this is because of a, an old issue I was having with uh, syncing between my de devices, but that's fixed. So I can actually delete one. Uh, but as you can see, that's my information. Let's go ahead and go to somebody else. Let's say I wanted to look at my friend, uh, my business partner, the other Mac helper, Sean. I'm going to click his name. See how it pops, populates his picture, his, phone, his name. Um, it's got his phone number, FaceTime, so the little bubble here, the little talk icon is iMessage, the little camera looking icon is FaceTime, and you can actually make a FaceTime voice call now which with iOS 7, which is also pretty cool. They got uh, his emails, um, his instant messenger, you can take notes on him, like where you met him, let's say this is at a networking function, you can go in here, I met so-and-so, blah, 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 kind of deal. And you could say that... Um, you can also hit edit and you can add new numbers, add new emails, add a web address, their birthday. Um, you can do pretty much everything you need to do to save that information. So I don't know why it just changed the picture there. I think it was because, um, oh yeah, because this was an old photo of us way back when and this is what I want to save it as. So you can draft that by pinching and zoom and to move and scale it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit use on that one, so I automatically saved it back to normal. Go ahead and hit done, and that will save his information, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there as well. And so that's pretty much it for context. You want to add a new one, you hit the plus sign, you go and add the person's name, test Mac Helper. This is Mac Helpers. Add a phone. Hit return, and then you can hit done. And then if you go over here, you can see test Mac helpers. And if you want to delete them, edit, scroll to the bottom, delete contact. Are you sure? Delete contact. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very simple to use, very basic. I mean, very similar to the last one. The major difference is they've gotten rid of the whole leather bound contact book and made it just very plain Jane, very basic white, really easy to read, very easy to go through and get all the information right then and there without having to uh, kind of search for it. So that's it for contacts app. If you guys have questions, email us info at yourmachelpers.com or go ahead and find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash machelpers. Send us any uh, questions and we'll be able to help you out. Thanks.